Hey there guys, this is Blue. So I have just finished exploring Act 6, Chapter 4. Overall, it really is not that exciting. Uh, it just felt like a fairly anticlimactic end to the story. Um, it's not particularly difficult. A lot of us were hoping that it would be really hard, or at least that there would be some new mods. There really isn't. It's mostly more of the same, and then the story is pretty standard. You know, you just get to Necro, you fight him, and then it's over. Um, so overall, this mission is not that hard. However, the primal boss is certainly the most difficult in this chapter. He's very annoying, and this has been a recurring theme, actually, in the story missions in this new version of the game. It's generally been the primal bosses that are the hardest, which at least is a welcome change compared to the Kabam days where we would used to get these ridiculously annoying Scorp bosses sometimes. So for whatever reason, they've decided to make the primal bosses the most frustrating. And he is pretty frustrating. Um, so let's just take a quick look at him. These are the mods that he's on. So he's on both Evade Melee and Evade Range Timed, which means he's going to be evading quite a bit. He's also on 90% Physical Resistance, which means he won't take much damage from melees. And he's on Crit Rate Timed, which means that if he's able to, say, counter you after evading when this mod is up, he's going to do a ton of damage to you with those crits. Now, I used a handful of bots against him just to test out a few scenarios. I did have the most success with Megatron, like in this gameplay I recorded, uh, because if you are able to fuse a debuff, which might be a little bit tricky, but if you can, you know, then you're able to steal those buffs and finish him quickly. I would actually recommend Starscream if you have him. He'd be a great choice for this fight because he can nullify Primal's armor very easily, and because Starscream is more ranged-based, you can keep your distance, okay? Now, I did use OGP. You can use him. You can use Ultra Magnus. You can use Nemesis. Just remember, though, that Primal's going to be evading quite a bit, so you might get beat up in the process, you know, especially since with, say, OGP or with Ultra Magnus, you're going to want to land those armor breaks, and that might get a little bit difficult for you. I also tried Wasp out, actually, just to see how it would go with his range game. I was able to get him down, so another range-based fighter could work um, in order to counteract, you know, the physical resistance. Um, but it's just a frustrating fight. Now, thankfully, this primal boss is not on, you know, unstable energon. You don't have to worry about passive DOT like shock. Uh, you just have to be very careful with uh, all of his evasion because he's going to be evading quite a bit so it might take you a few tries to get through it but you will be able to for sure you know it's just uh, one of those uh, one of those mod combinations that can kind of drive you crazy um, especially if you don't have say a maxed out team um, or if you don't have a really good counter for primal um, but that's really it i mean the the necro boss and the final mission might be a little bit annoying because of the finesse mod. And I will put out videos for, you know, the full run through of the last chapter. But generally speaking, it's really the primal boss that you got to be careful with. And the good thing is, honestly, primal is good practice just for going up against evade bots because you just have to learn how to deal with them. And so the bottom line is you want to play him very patiently. If he evades, back off. Don't get aggressive because he'll just destroy you, all right? So I hope this has been helpful, guys. Uh, do let me know if you have any questions, and we'll speak soon. Take care.